let's see displacement of center of mass of system of particle so let's see you know for a given system of particle you already know for a given system of particle for a given system of particle rc is equal to m1 r1 plus m2 r2 dot dot, dot divided by m1 plus m2 like that we already know friends let let ye jo r1 tha delta r1 displace ho gaya ye jo r2 tha delta r2 displace ho gaya ye jo is tarah sare thode thode displace ho, ho gaye अगर डिस्प्लेस हुआ तो नया सेंटर ऑफ मास का कोऑर्डिनेट कितना होगा सेंटर ऑफ मास का कोऑर्डिनेट कितना डिस्प्लेस करेगा तो इसका मतलब इफ डेल्टा आर वन मान के चलो डेल्टा आर टू लाइक दैट सारे जो थे ना वो थोड़ा थोड़ा डिस्प्लेस हो गए आर द डिस्प्लेसमेंट आर द डिस्प्लेसमेंट आर द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन पोजिशन ऑफ मासेस in position of masses m1 m2 m3 jo bhi hai is tarah sare masses jo tha wo position hua then the displacement position of the center of mass and then the displacement displaced position then the displaced position of center of mass then the displaced position of center of mass is going to be students how much that will be g delta rc is going to be m1 delta r1 correct plus m2 delta r2 correct plus dot 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 divided by m1 plus m2 This is the thing. Friends, so take an example. Banana is the upper. Let's let's take an example so that you can understand easily. Friends, a body of mass five uh, kg. Let a body, its mass five kg. Tha. Let's take a body of mass five kg. Place dart. Jo bhi a coordinate pe hum usko rakhe the. Five kg place dart. Jo coordinate that is five zero pe tha. X axis ke upper tha. Uh, another body B of mass ten kg. फ्रेंड्स और एक बॉडी था अनदर बॉडी ऑफ मास 10 केजी अनदर बॉडी ऑफ मास 10 केजी प्लेस डार्ट ऑफ 10 केजी प्लेस डार्ट 80 जीरो फ्रेंड्स इफ ए इज डिस्प्लेस टू 7 जीरो अगर ए ए जो मतलब है जो 5 केजी है ए मतलब 5 केजी If five kg is displaced to five zero pe tha, we kya pe displaced ho gaya seven zero. If it is displaced to seven zero and seven uh, kg is dis and ten kg is displaced to ten kg displaced to ten kg displaced to let twelve zero. Find the displacement of the center of mass. उसने पूछा है. Find the displacement of the center of mass. Find the displacement of center of mass. कुछ ज़्यादा difficult नहीं है. इसपे क्या करना है? Displacement of five kg body कितना हुआ है? Five था seven पे चला गया है. Two units displaced हुआ है. Displacement of ten kg जो था वो कितने पे था? Eight पे था. अभी बारह पे चला गया है. चार units हुआ है. तो हम जब displacement निकालेंगे इसका delta x सिर्फ x displaced हुआ है. So x is equal to how much m1? ले लेते हैं m1 delta x1 ठीक है plus m2 delta x2 all divided by m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 that is equal to five pi mass into displaced जो हुआ two units displaced हुआ plus इसका mass दस था ये चार units displaced हो गया all divided by five plus two sorry five plus ten So that is equal to how much? Five into seven, ten into four, forty. Forty-seven. 
sorry, 5 into 10, 10 plus 40, 50, 50 by 15. So that is center mass of a kidna sick to okay for jaga, 10 by 3 unit. Got it? This is the best, simplest way. Okay. Center mass joy about 10 units sick to This is the answer. I think understood. Let's see, we will study about velocity and acceleration of center of mass of a system of particle. Yes or no? Friends, as you know, system of particle position vector of mass is given by when we write this the position vector of center of mass is equal to m1 r1 plus m2 r2 plus m1 plus m2 plus r2. Friend, velocity of center mass kaise nikale? Velocity is equal to velocity of center mass agar hum nikale. So we have to differentiate position vector, displacement of uh, center of mass, position of center of mass will be differentiated with respect to time. So that is, agar kar denge to kitna ho jayega? M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus da 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 like that M1 plus M2. Students, M1 V1 is linear momentum. Na? So, we can write this way. Summation of velocity is nothing but summation of total momentum of the system. Summation of momentum of the system. That is, uh, I is equal to 1 to N. Sare particles ka momentum kita hai. Divided by summation of mass, Mi. Total mass, I is equal to 1 to N. Jitne number of particles honge sabka mass. Okay. Student velocity of system of mass of a particle is total moment of the system of particle by sum of the masses. So, I will say that velocity of system of velocity of system of mass system of particle is equal to total momentum of system of particle, right? Total momentum. You can write total momentum of system of particle. Whole divided by total masses, or that is sum of masses, or sum of sum of masses. Okay. Okay. See, there are students. Some acceleration program. Going. If we will go to acceleration. If we are acceleration of center of mass of system of particle. We talk about. So that is acceleration is nothing but differentiation of velocity of center of mass divided by dt. Correct. So that is equal to m1 a1. Plus M two A two. Sare nikal gaya divided by M one plus M two. Sare mass ko add karna hai, okay? So that means overall we can write acceleration of center of mass S is equal to nothing. But should for mass interaction is force na? So that is summation of sare force, force external. Okay, sare force that is I is equal to one to N divided by Total mein force kitna de raha I is equal to 1. Mass, some sum of masses that is I is equal to 1 to 1, 1 to n. So student acceleration of center of mass, just some velocity of center of mass likhe. So hum is tarah bhi likh sakte hai. Acceleration of center of mass ko bhi hum likh sakte hai. Net external force MA of system of particles that we can write. Net external force net external force ma mass into acceleration ma of system of particle okay. all divided by sum of the all masses all divided by all divided by sum of all masses Friends, a body of mass 4 kg moves at the positive experience. So let's take a coordinate system so that you could understand. This is the origin. Okay. And there is a mass. Uh, is, uh, there is a body whose mass is 4 kg. So along x axis, pe kitne speed pe ja hai? at the speed of 20 meter per second. 20 meter per second. Pe ja hai. Find the speed with which. Find the speed with which. A 10 kg mass should move. So there is a 10 kg mass which will move along the positive y direction. Yahan par wo kitne speed pe bhagega? 
such that their center of mass travel along x is equal to y. That means exactly center of mass along this line travel करेगा x is equal to y. ये अगर यहाँ पर है ये अगर यहाँ पर है center of mass कहाँ पर है? मान के चलो exactly mid पे है. जब ये यहाँ पर चला जाएगा ये exactly यहाँ पर मतलब equal क्या आप रख रख के वो दोनों जाएंगे ठीक है? तो हमें वही निकालना होगा. We have to find the velocity of center of mass. फिर हमें पता है velocity of center of mass क्या है? M1 V1 यहाँ पर दो particle हैं plus M2 V2 by M1 plus M2 that is four into x axis पे जा रहा है twenty i क्या लिख सकते हैं velocity plus mass है दस kg नहीं पता velocity we have to find that velocity divided by ten plus four mass जो है एक है ten kg और एक है four kg that is fourteen friends for vc to be along x is equal to y center of mass का जो speed है वो अगर x is equal to y पे रहे रहेगा so we can simplify say its component of x as well as y must be equal. The VC ka jo component of x and y jo dono hai. Component of VC along x, component of VC along y should be same. Yes or no? That means students, we can write uh, for VC to be along right for VC velocity of center of mass to be along line to be along line x is equal to y, you can simply say, you can simply say, its component of x, its component of x as well as y must be equal. Component of x as well as y must be equal. For finding velocity, what we are doing? Summation of momentum by total mass. That is velocity. So, student, along momentum along x should be equal to momentum along y. So, if I we'll take that, then we can write 20 into 4, that is 80, should be equal to simply 10 into v. Yes or no? So, that means v should be equal to 8 meter per second. Very simple. V should be equal to 8 meter per second. This is the answer. You can see here, you can see. Two blocks of mass 3 kg and 5 kg, 5 kg or 3 kg, dono connected by a spring may, and placed on a smooth surface, wo ek smooth surface par rakha gaya. Or maine kya kiya abhi? Ye force of 40 newton, yaha par humne ek force 40 newton de diya 3 kg ko. And it's observed, ye dikha gaya ki at that instant acceleration of 3 kg mass is 2 meter per second square. 3 kg ka mass kitna hoga, acceleration kitna hoga, 2 meter per second square. Then we push na find the acceleration of the 5 kg mass at that instant. Students, you can see here, as F is applied, F is the only external force present. So acceleration of center of mass, you can say, acceleration of center of mass, you can write F external by total mass, that is 5 plus 3, 8. So that is 40 by 8 is going to be how much? 5 meter per second square is going to be the acceleration of the center of mass. But student, we also know, we also know this, the acceleration of center of mass is equal to kya hai? m1 into a1 plus m2 m1 a1 m2 a2 divided by m1 plus m2 we know this rule also this so you can write here 5 is equal to 3 kg instantly kitna bhe gaya 2 kg 2 meter per second square bhe. plus 5 kg kitna bhe gaya nahi pata wo nikalna hai hai then 3 plus 5 so you can write 3 plus 5, 8, 8 into 5, 40 is equal to 3 into 2, 6 plus 5, A2. So that is 40 minus 6 is 34 is equal to 5, A2. Then we can find directly A2 is equal to 34 by 5. Okay. Then we can find A2 is equal to 34 by 5 meter per second square. So that means the acceleration of the 5 kg mass at that instant is going to be how much? 34 by 5 meter per second square so that the interconnected system or the center mass of the system the acceleration will be maintained how much 5 meter per second square. Got it?